in this video, we're going to look at the differences between interpolated videos and deformed videos in Diffusion B. On the home screen, you have your options to choose it from there, or to the very left, there's a drop down on the side where you can pick it from there. Interpolation videos are all about smooth transitioning between different images. We start with a couple of images and let stable diffusion models generate the in-between frames resulting in beautiful visual progress. It's perfect to showcase smooth style transitions or blending different visual features. On the other hand, deformed videos focus on transforming and distorting images to achieve unique artistic effects. We can apply various deformations shape modifications, and even morphing techniques to create visually striking and unconventional outputs. One smooth and one is more extreme, essentially. Under the interpolator tab, we see our layout looks similar to the text to image layout. You can enter a seed number, beginning prompt, end prompt, negative prompts, adjust the resolution, sampling rate, and can also choose between different samplers and the guidance scale. Let's begin with this version. I'm gonna lower these number of frames to around 30. I'm gonna use the same prompt in our deform video. And we'll see the differences how these function. For now, let's focus on the interpolator. Depending on the number of images you're generating and how many applications you may have open in the background, your video may take a while to render. And it looks like it's almost done with the final uh, render of the 30 images. And again, we're going to compare the interpolator versus the deform video. So the functions that are on here allow you to add a beginning seed number and an ending seed number. Again, the number of frames that you want. The, of course, you can choose the model you want, resolution size, uh, how many steps you want, guidance scale, samplers, and uh, the V prediction. Now our video is complete. So I had a Volkswagen. I'll look at the uh, prompt here. You can copy this if you want and try it yourself. So for the prompt, I use one of my custom models, so it requires my name to begin. But it's a highly detailed, epic, cinematic, concept art, CG render, digital painting artwork. A Volkswagen from the 1920s, diesel punk, car inspired by locomotive by Greg Rakowski. I'm going to slaughter that name, so I'm not even going to try. <laughs> Stanley Art Germ. And let's see here, trending on ArtStation, subtle, muted, cinematic colors, octane render, excellent composition, cinematic atmosphere, dynamic, dramatic cinematic lighting, very inspirational. So a very long, long, long prompt. But you can see that it's kind of a smooth transition between the image, right? So we have like an old school looking Volkswagen transitioning into this like weird futuristic looking one because the end prompt is everything's the same, except I changed the year. So I have 8020s uh, versus the 1920s. So it goes from like being this like classic Volkswagen to this weird futuristic car. So let's dive on over to Deform and check out the difference there. So the difference on this side of the Deform video is we can enter the seed number, but that covers uh, the entire video. There's no like ending seed number you can add. You can, you can adjust the number of steps, the sampler, again, the resolution, you know, height, width. So let's match those from the other video here. So I had it at 768. All right, so I have the beginning seed number. Again, I can't adjust an ending seed number in the deform video, but as you can see, you have more control over the prompt. So you can prompt a lot more within the deform videos. You have, what is it, up to four slots. You can add a variety of prompts. And it says there, you know, you can leave this blank if you don't want to use it. But yeah, you can prompt four different items here. So you can go crazy with that. <laughs> but it's almost like a, you're watching through like a film camera with this. Because you can adjust the angle of the video. If you wanted to zoom in, if you want, you know, movement from left to right movement there you want vertical movement so you can get really creative with this you'll have to play around there's no one specific you know this setting gets your video to look amazing you just have to kind of have to play around until you find the right combination for yourself you can also add the negative prompts okay so now i have the scale number i wish you can type like double click and type in the number but it's okay so we have everything set 
I'm gonna leave the zoom. I believe the default was at one. I'll just leave it at that for now. Angle, I don't want it to be going in circles or anything like that. I'll leave that. So essentially it'll just zoom in a bit. I have the same prompt. The only difference is at the beginning prompt, the same as the interpolator video and at the ending prompt, the same as the interpolator video. But in between, I just kind of have slightly different years. So, so it starts at the, uh, was it 1920s? 1960s, and then what did I pick? I forget what year. I just adjusted the years, <laughs> but it kept everything else pretty much the same. You know, again, you can change whatever you want here. You can have a car turn into an airplane. You can have a, you know, different colors if you want to include that, but let's start this and we can kind of compare the two different videos. So again, this might take a minute. So grab yourself a snack and uh, chill out for a little bit. All is too. As you can see, you can adjust camera movement in this video, which is really awesome. If you want, you can have the camera zoom in, up, out, and have a lot more diversity as far as control of how it looks around the image being generated. Think of it more like movement around the environment, you know, like passing through a glass or going through a field of you know, flowers or trees or, and such. Hopefully this was somewhat helpful generating video in Diffusion B, understanding the difference between deform video and interpolator. As I bounce between the two, even though it's the same seed number uh, beginning, there are vastly different changes happening here. With that being said, as always, be sure to like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon in the next video.